likely saw the crash because of dense near-zero visibility fog on the site about two and a half miles south of Douglas Airport. Several people say they heard the plane go overhead. It was very low. Then a tremendous crash. Some said it was an explosion. Say no, just a crash. The site seemed to tell a story. The DC-9 hit the ground in a cornfield, skidded, lost a wing, and burst into flame. The final impact in dense woods left a smoldering mass of scattered metal, much of it unidentifiable. Nobody knows exactly how long it was until the first rescue workers got there, but it wasn't very long. Air National Guard Lieutenant Colonel William Bunday, who was driving nearby, was among the first on the scene. As we department exploded in the wreckage. You wouldn't be able to tell it uh, in the film, but Bundy was a mission, apparently from a bag at Bundy, some 22 caliber witness said he saw the stewardess, the one that survived, walking away from the wreckage. She was dazed, but apparently with uh, only minor injuries.